All right. So the draw has just come out for the Qatar Open. It's now a 1,000 event permanently. It's been upgraded from a 500 event. It used to alternate with Dubai with 1,000 status. Now it's going to be a 1,000 event alongside Dubai next week, which is also a 1,000 event. But let's go to the players that are not playing because we have some big names that are not playing the first 1,000 event of the year. All right. So we have Pagula. She pulled out. She has, I think, a neck problem. Mukova. Still injured, pulled out of this event with a wrist injury still that she's been carrying since the US Open. Sabalenka, she pulled out as well, more so because of uh, fatigue or maybe just some wants to rest for the next few weeks just to get, you know, she won the Australian Open, she just wants to chill. And another player, Svetlina, she's not there either. So she is also withdrawn from the event. But let's go to the top of the draw. 16 seeds in this one, top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. Igish Fiontek, she gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Kostea. Or Stevens in the second round. Then you got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that match will take on either another qualifier or Alexandrova in the second round. So that little section of the draw could be an interesting section, but I think manageable for Sviontek. Next section of the draw, we've got Hadaj Maya, the number 10 seed taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Azarenka. Then you got Raducanu taking on Kalanina. Winner of that will take on the number eight seed Ostapenko in the second round. So Penko and Sviontek, quarterfinal potentially on the cards. The worst quarterfinal matchup you could ask for if you're a Sviontek fan, of course, Ostapenko is a nightmare. She's also in form, but there are some hurdles for Penko. So maybe Maybe Hadaj Maya gets through. Maybe Azarenka gets through. Because Azarenka, remember, has never lost to Ostapenko. And Hadaj Maya is playing really well right now. All right, next quarter of the draw, we've got Onstrupur. Number four seed. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Sharenko or Sonmez in the second round. Then we've got Roos taking on Martic. Winner of that will take on either Osaka or the number 15 seed Garcia. And again, that match is a fire matchup. But we just saw it. We saw it in Australia. It was a fire matchup. Garcia played amazing. Osaka just can't take a trick. All right, next section of the draw, we've got Krajikova. The number nine seed taking on Potapova. Winner of that will take on either Kalinskaya or Pushkova in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Noskova. Winner of that will take on the number seven seed Sakri in the second round. This section is... Kind of stack because, of course, Kalins Gaia played well in Australia. Sakri's the high seed. Krajikova also a high seed. Noskova, like Kalins Gaia, played well in Australia. Potapova and Pliskova are no slouches either. So this section is really stacked. And I don't know who's going to get out of this section um, to play probably, possibly, to play against Jabur in the quarterfinals. So we start at the top of the draw. We've got Sviantek in the semifinals, though. Possibly Sviantek taking on Jabur. Sviantek taking on Sakri. Or if you think Penko can get through... Might be Penko taking on Jabur or Penko taking on Sakari in that semi-final. Uh, if you want to dream a little bigger, maybe it could be Sviontek versus Osaka. I mean, if you want to dream big. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got Zhang, the number five seed. Gets a buy in the first round. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Lynette in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Bedosa. Winner of that will take on either Fernandez or the number 12 seed Samsonova in the second round. Great first round there. Samsonov is playing really well this week. Fernandez, I mean, we know how good she can be. Next section, we've got Navarro, the number 16 seed, taking on Paolini. Winner of that will take on either Stearns or Mertens in the second round. Then you've got Gracheva taking on Zoo. Winner of that will take on the number three seed, Alina Rabakina. And I've got to be honest, chat. Rabakina finally gets a nice draw. Usually, it's Rabakina who gets screwed over in these events. But she has the nice draw, and it's good to see. So she, you know, she should make it through this draw and play possibly Zhang in a quarterfinal. Uh, unless something crazy happens, like somebody, you know, pops up and, and beats her. But I would expect Rebecca to get through this. And the way she's playing this week, you'd expect her to get through the quarterfinals at least. Bottom part of the draw now, you've got Von Drusova. The number six seed gets a buy in the first round. Winner of that would take on either a qualifier or Maria in the second round. Then you've got Dolahide taking on Kostyuk. Winner of that would take on either Pavlia Chenkova or the number 11 seed Kazakina. In the second round, bottom section of the draw, the bottom of the bottom quarter of the draw, Kunimitova, number 13 seed, gets a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Buskova or Kennan in the second round. Then you got Vekic taking on Siniakova. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Goff, in the second round. That's an interesting one. Goff, you know, second seed because Sabalenka pulled out, so probably one of the biggest seeds she's had since being in the top of the game. Kennan's tough, you know, but I think a manageable draw for Goff should get through and possibly play against Kazakina or Kostya. Remember, Goff Kostuk was an epic match, a long match at the Australian Open in the quarters a couple of weeks ago. And possibly in a semi final down the bottom half of the draw, you could be getting 
We're back in the second on Goff. Great matchup. Only seen it once. Would love to see it again. Or if you want to go with the players that are in a little bit more form, uh, you could go be go with Zhang and, and Goff. Could be a, a semi-final you could see there in this tournament. Uh, if you want to go with Rabakina still, you could go Rabakina taking on maybe Von Drusseva if she comes good. Rabakina could take on Kazakina, who's playing well this week as well. Uh, or it could be Zhang taking on Kazakina if you want to go with some form as well. But uh, man, what a wild draw. And look, I'm going to be honest. I mean, there's a couple of sections there that are really, really tough for players like Zachary, of course. Fiontech's got some tricky players as well, but I wouldn't say that the top four have a really tough draw. Jabur's got an injury worry. That's something different. But Goff, Rebecca, and Fiontech, they should all be able to get through the first few days. Uh, and then once the quarterfinals hit, that's when it's supposed to be hard anyway. But let me know who's going to win, chat. Who is going to win in Doha? Man, what an event. It's a 1,000 event. It's a start of the desert double that's coming up over the next couple of weeks.